everybody it's amy aka mr bobby's models here and today i have the most exciting box in the world i actually can't believe that this model is here she arrived pretty quickly she's come all the way from the us and big grail of mine i'm just gonna say that right now i'm so excited i'm just gonna show you the size of this box it's massive which honestly fills me with relief because uh, I'm always super worried when I order horses from the US if they're going to get damaged on the way here but I don't think she would have got damaged in this box. <laughs> I'm going to try not to show my address. I'm shaking, I'm so excited. She's actually arrived very quickly, I wasn't expecting her for another week or so, so that's very good. Oh my god! <laughs> There's so much packaging. I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I need to figure out. I need to put this box down. Oh, guys. She's in this bubble wrap! <laughs> okay. She's cold <gasps> and heavy. Wow, she's really cold. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So this is Lady of the Lake and she's the custom variation. Uh, she was an Equalocity special run from 2019. There are, I believe, 25 made of her. She is my first model on the bunny mold. And all of my friends on Instagram know that I am a huge fan of the bunny mold. And this is uh, a big moment for me. I got this girl for an absolute steal of a price. She's the only bunny that I've ever seen for sale that I could realistically afford. And that's why uh, I ultimately bought her. And the fact that she's absolutely gorgeous. Like I didn't just buy her because she was an affordable bunny. I bought her because uh, she's stunning <laughs> and she's so cute and awesome. But the price definitely uh, helped. And yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be able to achieve having a bunny so early in the year. Uh, buying a bunny was literally my collecting goal for this year and I've already achieved it and it's still January so wow oh my gosh okay I'm gonna show you close-ups now okay so here she is I'm gonna show you all close-ups of her she's so gorgeous I can't get over the fact that I actually own her so this is her sweet little face I just, oh, this mold's so cute. Big chunky face. She has a little thing above her eye there, which I didn't know was there. Don't know if you can see that. Um, and she has a little bit of paint missing in her mane. But hopefully I can touch both of those things up. And then here is her body. She has lovely dapples. They're really cute. And one of my favorite things about this mold is the feet. I just, I think they're so cute. So she's got a couple of socks and striped hooves going on, which are adorable. She's so chunky, I love it. So here's her face again. Oh, she's so cute. Wow. Wow, 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 I love her. And here's her other side, just as gorgeous as her show side. I love the custom mane. It looks really, really cool. Stunning dapples on this side, really love her little belly. Just look at that, so cool. Lovely. 
And then her little feet again. I love this sock here. It's so cute. And then she has a little bit of a higher sock on this side. There's some dapples on the booty too here. And here's the back of her with her custom tail, which is super duper awesome. Boop. Overall though, I'm really pleased with her. She is in good condition and I'm just, I am so lucky to have a bunny. You will be seeing plenty of pictures of this girl on my Instagram, so if you would like to see her in way better lighting and in more detail, uh, go and follow me on Instagram. I have a feeling she's basically going to be like the main model featured on my account now. She is now safe and sound in my glass cabinet alongside a lot of my other Peter Stones. And she's not as ginormously big as I thought she would be compared to other Peter Stone molds. Like, the Palouse mold is definitely longer, and the Arabian mold is so much taller than her. I'm quite surprised, actually. She even looks kind of small next to the American Saddlebred, which shocks me. I thought she was going to be massive. Oh, she's so cute. Look at the sock at the front. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to unbox my bunny and show her to you all. I'm just so happy to finally have a bunny. <laughs> I've loved this mod ever since it came out and I just love all the custom variations and the colours on this girl. Oh my god. <laughs> she probably will be my last purchase for a very long time, but I have a feeling that she won't be the last bunny in my collection. Let me know what you think of her in the comments and I would just like to shout out uh, Coffee Briars on Instagram who was the girl who sold her to me. Uh, I was really impressed with the packaging, this box is ginormous, there was no way that she was going to break or, you know, poke an ear through the packaging. Um, so thank you very much uh, for letting me purchase her off you. Okay guys, have a great day, goodbye!